Okay guys, so this is all that you're gonna need. An X-Acto knife, some pliers, some acetone in a glass jar, your print of choice, and some double-sided tape. Okay guys, so first uh, what you have to do is some, take some of this double-sided tape. Um, I think I got this at Menards or something. It's sticky on both sides. Um, but the back side facing outside the roll isn't sticky at first. You have to peel it off. So what you want to do is you want to put your print onto the sticky part like you normally would with any tape. Then you're going to take an X-Acto knife and trace around the bottom of your print. I'm just using the lid for the jar as a um, cutting board. It work. You can use a piece of wood or anything else. Um, I just tore it off first and then to make it easier and then you just cut around it. Um, you might need a bigger jar if you use a bigger print. Obviously you can't use this for every print. Or what you also can do is you can do the same method but uh, use a paint bucket or or a paint uh, can or something, some metal can. You can use a coffee can with a metal top or something. You just don't want to use plastic because obviously your paint thinner or your acetone will eat it away. So then you just want to peel it off. Um, I'm peeling off all the end plastic so as you can see the uh, sticky part is staying on there. And then what you want to do is you want to firmly stick it on to the top of, or the, sorry, the bottom of the jar, jar lid cap, you know. Um, you want to make sure it's on there very tight. Okay, guys, so as you can see here, I am putting my cap together and making sure it is on there very tight. And here's the acetone that I'm using, well I, I guess it's called paint thinner for the stuff that I have is paint thinner which they're the same thing I'm pretty sure so I have to make sure it's on there tight enough so it doesn't fall off when I shake it and you screw it on make sure that's on tight also and then you're gonna shake it uh, it looks like I'm shaking it really hard here um, but I'm really not uh, you wanna shake it uh, nice and kinda slow I was going a little fast so that it does not fall off your print your print does not fall off and it only took about five seconds and that is it um, it, all, it is all smoothed out and as you can see I was getting something off there it was some little white speck I think some from some other filament that I had um, and that's the finished product also as you can see this is just what I printed um, I'm going to double dip it to make sure that it um, is smooth out completely. You can double dip it on your print too also, but uh, you might not want to do that. Um, preference, your preference. And I just put it on here and I dunk it again. Just make sure not to go too fast. And there I'm shaking it. Um, getting everything, I I tipped it upside down to make sure I got it, but I don't think you want to do that because that gets underneath the tape, and as you can see, it's dangling here, and you will see it as I lift this up, it falls off, and that is why you might want to put two layers of tape on your print to make sure it stays on and do not tip it upside down, but I eventually get it out and this is why you might need some gloves you put it back on there and let it dry for about five ten minutes and that is your finished smoothed out print and that is it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you liked this video don't forget to subscribe and see you next time bye